taking a look at question five, the first thing we're going to start with is counting our atoms. Uh, nitrogen atoms, we have one on the reactant side. Here it is. There's just one. There's no subscript, so there's only one atom. We have three hydrogen atoms, and we have two oxygen atoms because we have O2. On the product side, we have one nitrogen because there's no subscript. We're going to jump over to the hydrogens now because we want these to be in the same order. So we have two hydrogens, and we are going to take a look at oxygens. We have one here for H2O, and we have one here for NO, so there are two oxygens. So going from the top of our list down, right now the nitrogens are the same, one in the reactant, one in the product, so we're going to leave it alone. Our hydrogens are out of balance. Two does not multiply into three, so what we're going to do is we're going to, instead of trying to say blank times blank equals whatever numbers on the reactant or product side, we're actually going to multiply both of them together, and we're going to raise them to the lowest common denominator, uh, probably a term you've heard in math. So we're going to raise them both to 6, because 2 times 3 will both go into 6. That's the smallest number we can get them both into. So we're going to put a 3 out front here, because 2 times 3 is 6. Now I have 6 atoms of oxygen, or 6 atoms of hydrogen here. I did also affect my oxygen atoms, so I have 1, 2, 3 here, plus the 1 over here. I have 4 oxygens now total. I'm going to put a coefficient of 2 on this side because 2 times 3 is 6. I'm going to put, I also changed my hydrogens now, so, or I'm sorry, I also changed my nitrogens now. We changed hydrogens, 2 times 3 is 6. Now I need to feed into the nitrogens right here. So 1 times 2 is going to be 2. So I've balanced my hydrogens, but I've also taken my nitrogens out of balance and my oxygens out of balance. So we're going to go back up to the top. We're going to balance the nitrogens now. So we can say 1 times blank equals 2. Well, 1 times 2 equals 2. Let's color code this. There we go. Now I have two nitrogens, and I have 1, 2 nitrogens here, plus 1, 2, 3 over here. So I have five oxygens total right now. And I have two oxygens on the left. Now, just like we saw in an earlier problem, sometimes our numbers do not always balance out in the smallest denominator. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to start doubling and seeing if that corrects for the error. So we'll start where we did originally with our first coefficient we plugged in. We said we had three hydrogens. Let's double that number. Instead of three, we're going to say we have six. That's going to give us 12 hydrogens here. It's going to give us 6 oxygens plus 7, 8 oxygens total, because 6 plus 2 is 8. We're going to go over. We're also going to need to double this coefficient. So instead of 2 as our coefficient, we're going to say it's 4. 4 times 3 is going to be 12. So I have 12 and 12. I do have four nitrogens now instead, which means I need to go back and double this coefficient as well. Instead of two, we're going to say this is four. We have four nitrogens. I have one, two, three, four oxygens here, plus six oxygens there. This is going to give me a grand total of ten. Four plus six is ten. And 2 can multiply into 10. 2 could not multiply into 5, but because we've doubled everything, now we can get this O2 into a multiplication that we can work with. So we're going to say 5 O2. 5 times 2 is 10. I have 4 nitrogens on each side, 12 hydrogens, and 10 oxygens. This equation is balanced.